is Jacqueline Kiyomi Gordon, and the, my uh, work in progress here at MPAC is called The Only Thing That Makes Life Possible Is Not Knowing What Comes Next. For me, it's a bunch of research that's going into the next phase of my work. You know, sound is uh, very dependent on the site for how it performs. The space, the architecture, the geometry is all super important, and for my MPAC residency, I really wanted to take advantage of Studio One, because there's no other room that I've ever been in that's like that, and kind of test out like a whole bunch of different ideas and see what kind of holds and sticks and kind of moving forward with that. So when I was here last in the spring, MPEC built a bunch of walls for me that were all on casters so I could move around. They were six feet wide by eight feet high. And they were all covered with different materials that ranged from um, very reflective to absorptive. So fabric that covered fiberglass, insulation, rock wool, plywood, metal, and plastic. And uh, I moved those walls around in different configurations and put in speakers and kind of listened to the spaces. So how, how complex or how simple do the sounds need to be in order to be noticeable? or in order to kind of activate the space. Mainly what I'm focusing now is what I'm calling kind of sonic hierarchies. How is it that a sound comes into our awareness and fades away? Is it through our movement by the sound? Is it through the sound's presence in the room over duration of time? Is it the content of the sound? Is it because there are words that we want to hear? Is it because there's a tone that is very pervasive? Thinking about how it is that we pay attention to what we hear, I guess, and uh, particularly in the built environment. 